Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to mine NIM with just your computer. Now, there's two different ways you can go about doing this. Either through your browser, or by downloading one of the mining apps. Now, the advantage of using the browser is that it's much simpler and much easier. But, if you use the app, little few extra steps, but you're going to get a much higher hash rate. Something to note is that either, whether you use your browser or one of the apps, is you can still join a mining pool, which is a good way to ensure rewards if, let's say, you're just using your personal computer and you just want to participate. The first thing you need to do is set up a Nimic account. Make sure you are at Nimic.com and from the homepage you'll just click on Safe and it'll take you through the steps of setting up a Nimic account. Now, I do have a dedicated tutorial which walks you through the process, which I'll link in the description. Once you have your wallet, your Nimic account set up, then you'll click on Miner. And if you haven't set up your account, then it'll prompt you to do so here. But we already have it set up, so we're good to go. Connecting to the network, and already right off the bat, I'm synchronizing, and my hash rate has already started going. So I'm already I'm already browser mining. Okay, so from here, I can see how many peers I'm connected to, which block we're on, the global hash rate, and my hash rate, which is about three kilohashes, but the global hash rate is nearly 700 mega hashes, I believe. Right over here, if I were to mine a block, yeah, I will see it right here. And if I click on this, it'll take me to my account. It automatically, if you mine something, it goes to your account in this in your browser. If I use a different browser, then I need to log back into that, access that wallet again, or create a new one. Right down here is where you'll join a mining pool. Now, I'm actually already connected to one, but if it's your first time, then once you go inside, it'll say join, and you choose which mining pool you'd like to connect to. For the sake of this, we'll just use Sushi Pool as an example. And something to look at is that how often it pays out. So every three hours are the automatic payouts. So the reason I, you would join a mining pool is that you're basically um, you're putting your hash rate combined with other people's hash rate. So if you mine a block, the rewards are split up amongst the miners who are in this pool. So that's why you join a pool. You have a much, much better chance of receiving rewards if you're solo mining. If you, then if you're solo mining with, let's say, uh, your own computer. But I'm going to. I'm already hooked up to Sushi Pool. If I wanted to join a different one, I could join this one. But I'm gonna close this out. Mining with Sushi Pool. And one other thing is, if you click on my hash rate, you can actually change the number of threads. And that is how you browser mine. Now I'm going to show you how to download an application so you can mine from your PC. Now the reason you would use a desktop miner is because it's going to be a lot more efficient and also you're going to get a much higher hash rate. I noticed to get like about 10 times as much, which is a pretty good amount. So the first option is to click on Mine Faster where you can find apps for various systems with instructions. But the one that we're going to be using today is a community developed app which is really easy to use and I really like. So the one that we're going to be using is called NimicDesktop.com. Big shout out and credits to Kunani Gaming for creating this app. And Kunani Gaming is also a member over on our Discord. But from NimicDesktop.com, all you have to do is click download. By the way, this one is for PC Windows. If you're running Mac or Linux, I'll talk about other ways to mine using those later. But we're going to download this real quick. Once the download is finished, you're going to want to go through the setup process. Now this thing might um, show up that says, um, for me, it's Windows protected your PC. But just so you know, this, will, this may show up. But because we know who the community member is who created this, I'm going to run anyway. But just so you know, that may pop up. Click Next. You're just going to want to go through the process of setting this all up. Please wait while Nimic Desktop is being installed. There we go, it is totally set up. All right, so this is the Nimic Desktop app. From here, you can see these little things. But right down here, 
This is where you're going to want to put your NIMIC account number, your receiving address. Remember we created our account earlier? I'm just going to head over to that. Yep, this is it. Here is my account that I created. So you just want to click on that. And if you click on your account number, also known as public address, it copies it to your clipboard. And right here where it says enter NIMIC wallet address, I will just paste my account number, the receiving address. Now right here is where you will put your domain and the ports to mine using a mining pool. You don't have to, if you don't put anything here, then you'll just be solo mining and right here you'll put a name. I'm just gonna put Booyah. Now to mine with a mining pool, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the, um, what I just go, I just go to the, well, um, the browser miner right here where we were earlier and wow I've already actually mined a little bit just during the time of this recording that's pretty funny so I'm just gonna click on here and for depending on whichever one you want to mine for I'm just gonna use sushi pool right here it says host what you need to do is copy the host copy that if you're using this one where it says host you'd copy this one so I'm gonna copy this open up the Nimic desktop place that right there I'm just gonna put this aside. And then you wanna put a colon, so the two little dots, one above the other one. And then you wanna type out the port number. So for, for the sushi pool, it is 443. And if you don't put this here, then you'll basically just be solo mining. But we wanna mine with a pool. You can choose your threads. And if everything looks all good, start mining. And there goes our hash rate. So if you remember from the browser mining, I was getting about two to three um, kill hashes, but using the Nimic desktop, I'm currently getting 24. So that's a substantial amount more. And this kind of fluctuates and goes, it goes up and down, but for the most part, it's gonna be much faster, much more hash rate. And real quick, there are a few websites which you should know about. This one is poolwatch.info. You can dive into all this, lots more information about the pools and whatnot. Right here we have nimic.watch. And if you go to charts and then hashing distribution, you can actually see how much hash rate each pool has. So what some people will do is test out mining with each pool to see which one gives them the most rewards. Now, something to keep in mind is that let's say if you mine one of these bigger pools, they may mine more blocks, but each block has to be distributed amongst more miners. Whereas if one of these smaller pools mines a block, then um, you'll get a bigger percentage. So it's good to mine, be a part of these smaller pools to keep the hashing power nicely distributed. Right here we have Discord, where there's different chats about different topics, but if you scroll down to the bottom, You'll see there's different chats for the different pools. So if you have certain questions, you can come here and ask them. And also, a lot of the pools actually have their own websites. Um, one of the ones, um, Sushi Pool, they did a really nice job with their website. So here's what it looks like. As I mentioned earlier about mining with Linux or Mac, um, for example, from the Sushi Pool website, if you click on Get Started, you can see there's options for Linux and Mac OS and you can check the other pools for similar options. I don't have enough time to check out all of them, but if you want to, you can go, go ahead and do that. But that is everything. As I mentioned, if you have any questions, you can come join us on Discord and ask them over there. That's everything. See you in the next one.